Hey, it's Mike with Iceberg Gaming. In today's Vampire Survivors Guide, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get over a million gold with a single run. As you can see here, I've got over a million gold. I've got uh, 1.1 million gold here. Uh, you can get uh, up to 1.3 million gold per run with this method. Uh, some people have seen 1.3... So I would expect generally between 1 and 1.3 million gold per run from this method. Now to make this work, you are going to have to have Sigma unlocked. You get her by completing your collection. So in the collection menu, you have to have 124 out of 124 to complete her. Uh, if you're missing anything, I might have a guide for it up on my channel. Uh, otherwise, ask in the comment section and I will see what I can do. As for power-ups, uh, Sigma is just so powerful that none of these are strictly necessary, but uh, I do recommend that you max out your curse uh, because we're going to get more enemies that way, and the more enemies we kill, the more gold we are going to get. Now for the setup, we are taking Queen Sigma. We want one max weapon. And then we are going to go into the Bone Zone. We want Hyper on, Hurry Off, Arcanus on, and Limit Break is on. Limit Break is essential for this build. Then right away, we are going to be selecting our first Arcanus right when we load the game. And for this one, we want the Wicked Season. This is number 13. It will increase our Growth, Luck, Greed, and Curse. These are all very essential for this build. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Now, right away, you are going to hit level 2 extremely quickly. And then... Um, we are going to grab our first ability. Now, you have unlimited rerolls here, basically. We have 113 rerolls with Sigma. So, um, what I do recommend is that you reroll until you get the crown. And then we immediately get to choose our second Arcanus. And for this second Arcanus, we want number 18, Boogaloo of Illusions. And then right away, we're going to level up once again. Now, uh, for this one, I do recommend that you do your ins limit, uh, basically unlimited reroll until you get Toronto's box. You, now, you can take your crown uh, also, but uh, I, I do. Re my personal recommendation is that you immediately lock in all your abilities, and then you will get your third Randomazo, uh, third Arcanus. And for our third Arcanus, we are taking number fifteen, Disco of Gold. And then we will pretty much immediately level up once again. And now we want our third passive ability. So we are going to reroll until we get the empty tome. And then we will just wait a second and we will level up once again. And now for this one, we want the stone mask. And then we'll just wait until we level up once again. Should be pretty quick. And for this level up, we are going to reroll until we get the scroll, uh, the skull. Oops, I just missed it. Trying to go too quickly. There it is. It's back again. Now we grab the skull for our fifth passive, and we have one more. Now this last one is kind of your choice. Um, spinach, duplicator, or candelabra are all excellent choices. Uh, it, my recommendation would probably be the um, the candle for the area, since you're going to be doing a lot of damage anyway. So we'll just reroll until we get that. It's not going to cooperate with us this time. So maybe we'll just take the duplicator to get it over with. This one doesn't really matter as much. If you have done everything right to this point, your actions, uh, your abilities bar should look like this. We've got our uh, victory sword, and then all of the rest are X'd out. And we've got crown, box, tome, mask, skull, and duplicator, slash, spinach, slash, candle. Now we are just trying to level up until we get everything maxed out. I'm going to get rid of this guy. You cannot buy eggs with this character. Uh... So, there's really nothing we need there. And this character is so powerful, you can basically just stand still and absorb everything. She's uh, she's just so strong, it's, it's really incredible.
Now, our entire goal moving forward, other than finishing our level up, is to get the Disco of Gold active by picking up pots of gold on the ground. And then we just keep that running by getting experience. And as you can see, the Victory Sword gets more and more powerful as we level up. And it levels up uh, to, uh, le to 12 instead of the usual 8. Now, once you have your Victory Sword maxed out, you're going to go into Limit Break. And you're going to be getting so many levels that this really doesn't matter. Um, so for to save yourself time... I do recommend they choose random always, but uh, if you want to do it yourself, uh, I, I do recommend you prior prioritize area for a, a while until you get basically the entire screen covered and then focus on might, etc. But uh, I'm just going to go ahead and pick it random to uh, keep things moving. And once you reach this point, we can look at the... Um, the uh, bosses on the outside with the special abilities. I do recommend that you pick up... I think it's the... Um, I think it's the uh, the east and the south, I think, are the ones that increase the um, uh, curse. So they will give you more enemies. So I do recommend you pick those up. You will lose a few abilities. Uh, you will use lose a few chests from the leveling up of those abilities. But I do think it is worth it to get that extra curse. So that would be my recommendation once you get to this point. Now, once you get to this point, you will be basically invulnerable because your Disco of Gold will be procking constantly, which will be giving you gold from all experience, and it will also be healing you every time. And as you can see, we are already racking up huge numbers of coins from our Disco of Gold, and we're not even done yet. And now as we approach the icon here, the boss will come out, and we can basically tank him, especially if you've got Disco of Gold coming out. You'll be out healing his damage by far. So we'll just wait for him to die. And he's already dead. Now we'll grab... Oh, no, he's not dead. He's still in the... He's still in the mass of humanity here. Or, uh, not humanity, but you know what I mean. Still in there, huh? But anyways, we can just grab this whenever. Yeah, curse. So it is the right that curses. And then we're going to go ahead and get cursed further every time we level that up. And here we are at level 77. We get our next Randomazo. This is our fourth Arcana. Uh, Sigma gets five of them. This is number four. And for this one, we are taking Sarabond of Healing. Now, the reason we are doing this is because it will not only double the healing that our disco of gold is going to do for us but it will also damage enemies every time we get healed from the disco which is a huge aoe pulse so now we are all set here the build is taking shape and there we are we are already maxed out look at that damage did you see that bam it is just wiping everything out and it looks like that boss is down now so now i'm going to head towards the south one the ring, uh, I believe, is the curse ring. Uh, I think the gold one is the curse one. We'll find out for sure when we get there. And at level 108, our, uh, we get our fifth Arcanus with Sigma. And for this one, uh, my recommendation is Mad Groove. This will suck all the coins and everything to you to make it even easier to keep your Disco of Gold running. So we're going to go ahead and take Mad Groove. Another option you can consider is the Silent Old Sanctuary. Since we are only using one of our weapon slot, this will give you a bunch of might. But uh, I don't think it's necessary personally, so I'm going to stick with the Mad Groove. And this sucked our ring to us, so we don't even have to worry about that. We'll just grab the other one just in case. Uh, yeah, it is the gold one that, that curses you, so if you're running to it, get the gold one. The silver one is good for ki helping you kill enemies, but for our purposes, we want the gold one to increase more enemies. Now we have 
Holy cow, they're actually doing quite a bit of damage here. We have all of the uh, enemy boss guys with the power-ups here up at once. So that is not ideal, but we'll, we should be okay. But I'm not going to take the curse right away. <laughs> I do recommend that you try to stagger them so you don't have all the bosses up at once, but uh, it, it, we should be okay. As you can see, we are doing huge healing with our Arcanus, our Disco of Gold, plus our Saraban combination. And with this Metalago left, we are actually getting even more healing. So that is also increasing our AoE damage from our Saraban as well. And you can just pick up treasures whenever that's fine up until this point. We don't have... After we hit the 10 minute mark, we do have to be a little bit careful with our treasures. But uh, at this point, we can grab them. It is no big deal. And look at this gold from this Disco of Gold. Holy cow. And now we're immediately in another Disco of Gold from picking up another treasure. And we still have these enemies up, but they're not out damaging our healing, so we're okay. As long as we keep this up, we should be fine. And the enemies are all down. We uh, are the the boss enemies. We, we were able to take them out without too much trouble. Now there's really not much else to do until we get to the 10 minute mark. Now this will lag you down quite a bit, uh, most likely, because you just have so much going on on your screen. So many enemies out, so much healing, so many coins. It's, it's, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot, guys. But uh, anyways, at the 10 minute mark, we're, we have to be a little bit careful, but up until then, we are just going around collecting as much as we can, so we keep our disco going, and that will keep a chain reaction of killing and getting loot over and over again, and everything is all good. Now, once we are at the 10 minute mark, we need to be a little bit careful. Oh, we, we messed it up. So what what really we wanted to happen um, was we do not want to get this chest while the crown is up on our character, uh, signaling that we are in the growth phase, which means more experience, uh, because this will make the growth phase line up with what is coming here. So we're about to evolve our victory sword into the soul, uh, what is it, soul, uh, soul solution. Uh, and that can potentially cause problems with gaining experience later. So we wanted to wait until we were not in the growth phase to get this. Um, but that'll this will work for our purposes of demonstrating the guide. So at the 10 minute mark, you have to be careful of this. Uh, try to avoid getting chests uh, at, while you're in this growth phase. But uh, oh well, it is what it is. After that, you can get as many chests as you want. And you'll just be getting tons and tons of gold. Now, this is what I'm talking about. This is the full solution where you turn into this galaxy thing. And uh, there is some confusion as to whether you gain experience while you are in that state or not. So I just recommend you try to avoid that situation if you can. But if you can't, I it's fine. You'll still get a ton of gold. And now our entire point of the run is just to keep our disco going as long as we can. Just keep killing enemies as long as we can, um, and just uh, uh, just just keep the disco going. Keep the disco stew boogaloo going as long as you can, and you'll just be racking up huge amounts of coins, killing huge amounts of enemies, and everything is everything. Now, once again, to trigger the disco, you pick up a little bag of gold on the ground, and that is one of the reasons why the bone zone is the best zone for this this strategy because there are lots of bags of gold on the ground in the bone zone. And we are at level 240 already, so this is pretty crazy. We're already at 200,000 coins and things are going well. But this is basically the strategy so we'll, uh, I'll skip ahead in the video to show you guys a little bit of the results.
while I'm finishing this up, I guess I'll go ahead and explain why we chose each of the abilities that we chose. Bo, bo, bo. Look at that. 4,000 gold from that chest. We are at uh, 133,000 kills. We are at almost 400,000 coins. We are at level 343 already. So the crown is obvious. We need more levels to get more greed. Every level we get, we get more greed from our, our Canis. And then we obviously want the Toronto's box because it increases our damage done. And it curses us, meaning we get more enemies for the higher level the Toronto is. Also, the Toronto box is what evolves the uh, Queen Sigma's weapon, the Victory Sword, into the Soul Proprietor. And then Tome, we want to increase the frequency of our attacks. It is a huge DPS boost, which means more killing, which means more levels and more coins, which means more killing and more levels and more coins. Next up, we want the Mask. Since this is a coin run, obviously this increased the amount of coins we get per coin we pick up, aka the Greed. And then the Skull, because we want more enemies, because more enemies killed is more coins and more levels, etc., etc. And finally, the Duplicator is a, a huge DPS boost, um, but it is not as strictly necessary as I mentioned earlier. You can either choose the Duplicator or Spinach for the flat damage is great also, uh, as well as Candle increases the area, which I don't think is necessary since we've got so much area going on anyway. So my first and second choice, um, not particularly in order, would be Spinach or Duplicator. You might be tempted to consider the Attract Orb for sucking things up, but I don't think it's necessary because we're already sucking everything up from such a huge range as is. So I don't recommend you get the Attract Orb. Um, just stick with Duplicated or Spinach for the last slot. Our, our entire goal here is to just get as many levels as we can while in keeping our Disco uh, up as long as we can. The more levels we get, the higher our Greed will be, which means the more coins we will get. So we're just killing as many enemies as we can, getting our Disco going as much as we can. Now the chests are a little bit hard to find and a little bit laggy to pick up, so just do your best to pick up the chests. And you should have very high luck because we also get luck from our uh, Arcanus. So we should be getting the triple and five spot chests a lot, which will be huge gold like so. Boom. As I said, our goal is to keep the Disco going as long as we can, but don't feel too bad if it drops off because there'll be just so many of the pots of gold on the ground, the bags, I mean, that it will be fairly easy to get it running again if it drops off. So keep it running as long as you can, but don't freak out if it drops off. You'll get it again really quickly. Just keep an eye out for the bags on the ground and just grab them and everything will be fine. If everything is going right at about the 20 minute mark, this is what you should be looking at. You should be looking at over 200,000 kills. You should be looking at closing in on three quarters of a million gold. You should have uh, about 340% luck, 835% growth, greed at 360, curse at 550. And our uh, victory sword weapon level is at 460 right now because we are at level 521. And at this point, you should be looking to get at least 60,000 coins per disco of gold. Uh, right now, I'm over 70 for this particular disco. But if you can get it over 60 per disco, at this point, you'll be doing great. We got 73,000 that disco, so pretty darn good. And then we are immediately... Oh, where did the disco go? There it is. And we are immediately back into disco once again, especially with the help of our Mad Groove pulling everything to us. Now, one thing you might be concerned about is you might be worried about picking up the pots, of the bags of gold while you are currently in Disco. You might be worried that you need to save them for restarting the Disco once it drops off, but don't. You'll, you'll get so many pots of gold, it won't matter. Or bags of gold. I keep calling them pots, but you'll get so many of them that it won't matter. You'll, you'll pretty much instantly find another, even if you grab them while you are in the Disco. So don't even worry about it. And then once the 25-minute boss comes out, you probably won't even notice it. 
because Sigma is just so incredibly powerful at this point because of her limit break is just absolutely ridiculous combined with our Arcanus, our, our Cerebond of Healing is blowing everything away. So you probably won't even notice the 25 minute boss. Like I, I think we passed the 25 minute mark. So I don't know if the boss, the best must be dead, right? Oh yeah, here's a treasure chest. So we must have killed it right as it spawned basically. And I have passed the 1 million gold mark at around the 27 minute mark. And things are getting crazy. There's just so much lag that our disco is not lasting as long. And we're not really able to move around much. So <laughs> it's getting a little ridiculous out here. But uh, as long as we keep the disco going, as long as we get it back up again once it drops off, it's all good. Now, it's going to be difficult because it is just so laggy right now and hard to see anything. But if you can pull it off, you're going to want to try to pick up the treasure chest while you are in the greed phase, which means you have the, the stone mask up, which means you are uh, getting extra gold. Now, it's probably not going to be possible because it's so laggy and hard to see. But if possible, get the chest when you have the stone mask below your character. And then at the 30 minute mark, death will come out and kill us. We can go ahead and revive. And we can pick up everything that we missed. And now, sometimes death will take a while to kill you. Death can't kill you during the uh, soul the uh, galaxy phase. Uh, and also, sometimes you can lag him out. But uh, if he doesn't kill you right away, it is kind of a good idea to just quit out. Because you can just sit here for a while, and uh, you're really not getting anything out of it. You can pick up a few coins along the way, but it's really not worth it. So I do recommend that you quit out, uh, unless you want to stick around and get the bonus from your uh, revives, um, which is an okay idea. But uh, it, it might take too long, so... And that's not... It's only a couple hundred coins anyway. So, if you get stuck like this, I would recommend that you just quit out. And then here is our finish screen. So we did 2.1 gazillion DPS or damage with our victory sword, which comes out to 1.1 million DPS. <laughs> oh my goodness. And then our soul solution did over 100,000 DPS. And then our Sarabond of healing did 61,000 DPS, which is more than any ability from a normal run will do. <laughs> <laughs> that's the low so that is crazy and here is our stats here we've got 1.16 million gold we reached level one we reached level 1157 we defeated almost a third of a million enemies our sword reached level 1096 <laughs> oh man that was fun well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Now you will have as many coins as you need to buy eggs for your characters or to finish up your power-ups, whatever you want to do. See, now I have over 2 million gold to spend here. So you can go in uh, and take your favorite character here, like for me is the Red Death. And we're just going to go into um, library, whatever. It doesn't matter. And then, yeah, this doesn't matter. Nothing matters. And we're going to go come over here to our boy. And we're just going to go ahead and buy a ton of these. Look at this. We can just stack this character And let's take a look at our stats now. Look at this. Look at this character now. Holy cow. So take your best character and go ahead and spend those millions on, on, on eggs to really stack out your favorite character. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Any questions in the comment section or join me on Discord. You can ask me there. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Special thank you to my YouTube members, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you for making this channel possible.